Dear student, in this lecture we will study solution of system of linear equation by matrix method. Now, type one. Suppose set of linear equation. Having two variables that is a one x plus b one y equal to c one, a two x plus b two y equal to c. This is the sum of linear equation having two variables given to it. Now you have to solve this equation, this this equation by matrix method. Now. तो एक हो इक्वेशंस इक्वेशंस इन मैट्रिक्स फॉर्म बी एक अन राइट दिस दिस इक्वेशन इन मैट्रिक्स फॉर्म एस योर ए वन बी वन a2 b2 this is the group set of x y a1 b1 a2 b2 and variable x y write in one column and constant in right side c1 c2 write in one column okay you can write this in matrix form as this if you Multiply these two. How to multiply? You know, you have to multiply these two. This with this. Now this will be your a one x plus this with this b one y. Now this this with this. Now a two x plus b two y. This is the matrix. If you multiply these two matrix, equal to C1, C2, S1. Now, if these two matrices are equal, the corresponding elements are equal. This will be equal to this, and this will equal to this. So you are getting this. Okay. So you can write these two equations in matrix form as like this. Okay. Now, your x y will be equal to your A one B one A two B two. It's inverse C one C two S one. So this is your A inverse B. Okay, same. Take it as equation one. Why A is your matrix A one B one A two B two and B is your matrix. This C one C two. Now solve and find what x and y. Suppose I write a question. Solve x plus two y equal to three. Three x plus y. Equal to four. Solve this by matrix method. This is your question. Okay. Now see solve. What is the equation given to x plus two y equal to three? Three x plus y equal to four. Now here for equations. In matrix for B, this is your one, two, three, one, S one, four sets of it. Then variable X I write in one column, then constant write it in one column. I have told you, doctor write in this. Now this is your X I equal to one, two, three, one. It's inverse three four S one. This is your A inverse B. Same. Take it your equation.
question one. Okay. Why are a geometric one, two, three, one? B geometric three, four. Now find inverse of this matrix. First find determinant of the what is determinant of this one minus six minus five. That means not equal to zero. If a determinant not equal to zero, so a inverse exists. Okay. I have told you if A is a two plus two matrix like this, we can find our jump of A like this. That means you have to access this one one main elements in other elements you have to put negative sign. Okay. You have to change this main element. In other, you have to put a negative sign. This is your adjunct of the equation. You know, A inverse is your adjunct of A by determinant of A. What is determinant of A? Minus five. So one by minus five into adjunct of A. One minus two minus three. One. Now find a inverse b. What is a inverse? One by minus five. One minus two minus three. One into b. What is b? Three of s. Now you see what is your a inverse b. Now you see a inverse b is equal to your x y from equation one s. This is your x y. But one by minus. So multiply these two matrix. I have told you. Row one with column one. This row with this column. First row first, second row second. Make product then so. This one into three three. This is minus eight three minus eight. That means minus five. Okay. Keep it in row one. Then row two with this column. This with this. Make product minus three into three. Minus nine. This into this plus four. Minus nine plus four. That means minus ten. Okay. So this is your. You have to multiply one by minus five into this. Now you see this is your one one s one. So multiply one by minus five. The minus one by five in here. So this is your one one. So you are getting if these two matrices equal, then their corresponding elements are equal. So x one, y one. So you are getting x one and y one. This is the solution. You are getting. By using your matrix method. Okay. Type two. Now type two. Suppose set up linear equation having three variables. That is, a one x plus b one y plus c one z equal to b one. A two x plus b two y. Plus C to Z equal to B to A three X plus B three Y plus C three Z equal to B three. You have to solve this equation by matrix method. Now the above equations in Matrix form B. Now A one, B one, C one, A two, B two, 
C2, A3, B3, C3. This is the quotient of x, y, z. I write in this matrix. Now, what are the variables? x, y, z. Write in one column. What are the constant? Right side constant D1, D2, D3. Right in one column. Okay. We will multiply this. You are getting this matrix equal to this. Now, these two matrix, if equal, you will get this. Okay. So, you can write this equation in matrix form as this. Now, implies implies x y z is your a one b one c one a two b two c two a three b three c three inverse d one d two d three. This is your A inverse B. Same. Take it as equation number one. I have A is your matrix A one, B one, C one, A two, B two, C two, A three, B three. C three and B matrix is your this B one D two B solve and find X Y and Z. These are the procedure to solve the set of linear equation having three variables X Y or Z. By using matrix matter. Or suppose the question solve question is like this: solve three x minus two y plus three z equal to eight. Four x minus three y plus two z equal to four by two. Matrix method. Solve by matrix method. Solution. What is the equation? 3x minus 2y plus 3z equal to 8. Then 4x minus 3y plus 2z equal to 4. Another equation given. 2x plus y minus z equal to the above equation, above equation in matrix form, matrix form B. Equation in matrix form. Minus one. 
and B is the matrix. Five, eight, four, one. Okay. Now, from this matrix A, find A inverse. From A inverse, first find determinant of A. What is determinant of A? If you consider the row one, what is the sign? Plus minus plus. So three. Element this and this. We are getting minus three, two, one, minus one determinant. Then plus minus minus or minus two. Then plus two. This minus two present in this row and this row. As on row one and column two. So element this remaining element four, two. 2 minus 1 become plus minus 10 plus plus 3 plus this 3 element present in this row and this column so eliminating this this is your 4 minus 3 2 1 s I calculate this value 3 this value is 3 minus 2 1 plus 2 minus this is your minus 4 minus 4 minus 8 now this is plus 3 into this is 4 plus 6 10. Now this value is 3 minus 16 plus 30. So you are getting that. So your 17. This is not equal to your 0. If a determinant not equal to 0. So you can say your a inverse. So a inverse x co-factor of matrix A ok black co-factor matrix A three cluster matrix you can add C11, C12, C13 C21, C22, C23 C31, C32, C33 as now this is equal now you see you know Cij is your Mij if i plus j is your again, cij is your minus mij, if i plus j is your odd s1. Now, 1 plus 1, 2 again, so m1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, so minus m, 1, 2, this is m1, 3, 1, 3, 4, again, this is minus m2, 1, so likely like this, this is minus m2, 3, 2, 3, 5, odd of I think the n31 plus of 3 to 5 order as to minus of 336 is in your chain. So plus n33. Okay. One co-factor to the corresponding minor in one part. That's just one. M11. Matrix and I. Minor of first row and first column. So M11 means element row 1 and column 1. Remaining element 3. 2, 1 minus 1 determinant. What is its determinant? This is 3 minus 2. What is, what is its value? This value is, is your what? 1. Then minus m12. First calculate m12, then minus m12. m12 means first row, second column element. 4, 2, 2 minus 1 determinant. So this value is minus 4. Minus 4, but minus 8. Minus 8, but here is minus so 8. Then M13, that means element hash row and column 3. Then 4 minus 3, 2, 1, it's determined. 4 is plus 6, minus 7 plus 6, so 10. Okay, then minus M21, first calculate M21. What is M21? Second row, hash column element. Minus 2, 3, 1, minus 1, determinant, so this value is 2, minus 3, minus 1, so here minus, so plus 1. Then M2, 2, so second row, second column element, so 3, 3, 2, minus 1, x determinant, so this determinant is minus 3, this is minus 6, but minus 9. Then, M23 minus M23. So element second row and third column. M23. So it's 3 
minus 2 to 1 determinant. So this is 3 plus 4. 7. This value is 7. So here minus. So minus 7. Okay. Then M, 3, 1. What is it? Third row, first column. So eliminate this. Third row, first column. So 2, minus 2, 3, minus 3. Yes, determinant. So minus 4. This is plus 9. Minus 4, plus 9. That is your 5. Then M, 3, 2. Minus M, 3, 2. First, M, 3, 2. Calculate third row, second column. So 3, 3, 4, 2. Determinant. This is your 6 minus 12. That means minus 6. Your minus or so plus 6. Then n 3 3. Third row, third column eliminate. It's determinant. Eliminate this. Determinant of this. This is minus 9 plus 8. Minus 9 plus 8. Minus 1. Okay. You are getting this. As one. Then you see. This is a co-vector of A. So, the adjoint of matrix. What is adjoint of A? Adjoint of A is your transpose of co-vector of matrix. Yes. Now, transpose of this matrix. So, row 1 is your column 1 is your column 1, 8, 10. Row 2 is your column 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 Determinant of A as what well. is determinant of A? Determinant of A is your this value is 17. So 1 by 17 into adjunct of A. What is adjunct of A? This 1, 1, 5, 8, minus 9, 6. As yes, well. 1, minus 9, 6. Then 10 minus 7 minus 1. Now this is your A inverse. Now A inverse B. A inverse B that means 1 by 17. This is your A inverse. 1, 1, 5, 8, minus 9, 6, 10, minus 7, minus 1. Yes. Into B. What is your matrix B? Now you see matrix B is your A, 4, 1, S1. This is your 8, 4, 1. Okay. Now you see A plus B is equal to your this. You know what is your A plus B from equation 1? A plus B is your X, Y, Z. This. Okay. So you can write this as implies x, y, z equal to 1 by 17. Now multiply these two matrix. How to multiply? Row 1 set to equal to first set to first, second set to second, third set to third. Convert to it and sum to it. Then get 8 and 4. 12 plus 5. Okay, 17. Okay. Then, row 2 side of it. You go first to first, second to second, third to the product to it. Okay, 8 8 is 64. 64. Then, second side to second. Okay, minus 36. Then, 6 into 1. Okay, plus 6. And it is solved for it is solved for it is so 34. We are getting this now. This with this column 3 set, no, row 3 set, column 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 3 set,
second so second then minus 20x minus so it's your 31 okay so 1 by 17 into this so multiply 1 by 70 in this matrix so you are getting 1 2 3 this matrix equal to this now x is your 1 y 2 z 3 okay 